Well, Posterity XT this year has performed very well uh, in our trial. Uh, the non-treated control has had almost $100 spots. I just rated it last week and Posterity XT had almost none. Last August I rated it and the non-treated control had $142 spots in it and Posterity XT had zero, right? You can't do better than that. So a uh, very strong control under some very heavy pressures. If I were to recommend Posterity XT to a superintendent, I would say give it a strong look. It's a good product. Well, Posterity XT, uh, we're always most focused on dollar spot uh, here in our trials, and so it's been very, very strong against dollar spot. Also, uh, the azoxystrobin in there, excellent against uh, brown patch, and it's also very effective against a lot of different patch diseases, right? So we know the headway in there. Headway's been very strong against patch diseases for a number of years, and so we would expect XT to perform well against patch diseases, and it has. Well, superintendents aren't controlling just one disease. Uh, there's multiple diseases that happen at the same time, so typically you'll see dollar spot, anthracnose, brown patch, uh, summer patch, a lot of different types of diseases can occur at the same time. So uh, for the efficiency for the superintendent, it's important that some of these products control more than one disease. Uh, I haven't gone back and looked to see how many products control 20 plus diseases for 28 days, but not many. So here is XT at the uh, three fluid ounce rate at the 21 day replication interval. Very, very clean as far as disease. One other thing we've been watching with this product is any sort of phytotoxicity or overregulation with uh, the product. This contains the two fluid ounce rate of propiconazole uh, and we've made these applications every 21 days, not seeing any concerns with any phytoregulation at this point in time.